Advantages of Bamboo Flooring Basement, 5 Reasons to Choose There are significant reasons why choosing bamboo flooring for the basement is logical. It is quite a popular flooring option for people who want a stunning basement floor at a low cost. So before you finalize, you can note down the advantages. 1. Excellent aesthetic appearance. Needless to say, bamboo gives a smooth flooring texture with a light and soothing color tone. Bamboo flooring has a consistency like no other natural flooring. Its earthy wood like appearance makes it look natural, raw, and beautiful. It is suitable for both modern and old interiors. 2. Extremely durable. Bamboo flooring is very tough and durable. With a Yanka hardness rating of 3000, bamboo proves to be harder than most of the common hardwood floorings. Due to its tough and hard structure, bamboo is difficult to break, crack, or scratch. This makes it suitable for basement flooring. 3. Adequate moisture resistance. Note that bamboo flooring is not waterproof but quite water resistant. Minimal exposure to moisture won't affect bamboo flooring. It can hold moisture for around 20 to 30 hours. So if you miss out on cleaning the spills immediately, it won't damage it much. Especially if you pick engineered stranded bamboo, the moisture resistance is quite good. 4. Can be floated or glued. You can choose any installation method you want. For permanent flooring, you can glue down the bamboo planks on the subfloor. If you are not willing to get permanent flooring and the subfloor is not even, you can click and lock the planks too. So both installation ways can be applied in bamboo flooring. 5. Easy Maintenance If you clean the flooring regularly and keep the surface dry, basement bamboo flooring won't damage. You should provide space for expansion and keep moisture away from the flooring. Also, water leakage should be prevented. If needed, you may finish the floor from time to time. These are some basic tasks you need to do for maintaining a bamboo flooring basement. Three major drawbacks of bamboo flooring basement, why not to choose here are three disadvantages of using bamboo flooring in the basement. 1. Long exposure of moisture damages bamboo. Remember I have mentioned that bamboo is water resistant but not waterproof. It can hold water or moisture for about 30 hours. But if the moisture is still there, it will start penetrating the surface and destroy the bonding and color of the floor. Therefore, cleaning the moisture from the surface is necessary to avoid warping or discoloration of bamboo. 2. Molds and mildew may grow in moist condition. Now when the surface is kept moist, it encourages the growth of molds and mildew. Bamboo has a lot of starch and sugar in it that feeds molds and mildews. When the area is moist for a long time, molds and mildews easily settle on the bamboo flooring. This makes the flooring unhygienic and discolored. 3. Low-quality bamboos are risky. By any chance, if you choose low-quality bamboo for basement flooring, you are surely going to suffer. While I suggest using engineered stranded bamboo only, using low-quality bamboo means to waste your money. The hardness and moisture resistance of cheap bamboo is so low that it won't be able to adapt to moist conditions. What to check before installing bamboo flooring basement? As bamboo is not waterproof, you should look into some factors before choosing it for your basement. Below is a list of considerations that you should look into before installing bamboo flooring. Check for any leakage in the water pipes or faults in the drainage system. Such issues increase the moisture level in the basement damaging the bamboo flooring. Don't forget to check the humidity and temperature in the basement and acclimate the bamboo flooring. If you miss out on doing this, bamboo would expand and contract, cracking the flooring. So you should acclimate the plank in ideal moisture and temperature in the basement. If the basement has a concrete subfloor, you have to apply a vapor barrier to it. Otherwise, concrete will release moisture up to the bamboo damaging the core. Applying a vapor barrier prevents moisture from going up. Note these points and be cautious and ready before installing bamboo flooring in the basement. What are the issues with installing bamboo flooring basements? Here is a list of issues that you may face with installing bamboo flooring in basements. High humid levels in the basement are not controllable. And long exposure to moisture and water can damage bamboo flooring severely. Regular cleaning and drying of the floor are mandatory when you install bamboo in the basement. This keeps the moisture away from the flooring. 
but then again, regular cleaning is a hassle. In case of poor drainage or water leakage, the moisture level in the floor increases. This discolors, warps, and distorts bamboo flooring. Also, this encourages the growth of molds. These are some common issues that you may face if bamboo flooring is installed in the basement. Three steps to glue down bamboo flooring basement. Know the right method. See, installing bamboo flooring in the basement is truly a sensitive task. The moist condition makes it quite problematic to install bamboo planks on the basement subfloor. This is why knowing the right method is very important to get the best result. So let's start with the steps of gluing down bamboo flooring basement. Step 1. Check the moisture level and acclimate the bamboo. Note that acclimation of the bamboo flooring is mandatory. If you skip this, the bamboo planks won't get the scope to adapt to the moisture level in the basement. If the planks don't reach the equilibrium point, expansion and contraction of bamboo would damage it severely during high humid conditions. Before acclimation, determine the moisture level in the area. Remember that the moisture level should be between 40 to 60 percent. The temperature of the basement should be between 60 to 80 Fahrenheit. These conditions are ideal for bamboo acclimation. For acclimation, you have to unpack the bamboo planks and lay them in the basement for at least three days. Some may need more time to acclimate. To know the duration, you should check the manufacturer's guidelines. Acclimate them well before installing. Step 2. Prepare the floor and repair water pipes. A basement is generally a damp place, but the subfloor should not contain any moisture. This is why you have to sweep and mop the subfloor very well. Ventilate the area well to make the subfloor dry. In case the subfloor is uneven, you have to sand and polish the surface to make it flat. After you remove any extra moisture from the subfloor, you have to apply a vapor barrier if it is concrete. The concrete subfloor frequently releases moisture which can affect the bamboo flooring. Therefore, you have to apply a vapor barrier to make the subfloor prepared for bamboo installation. Next, you should check all the water pipes to find leakages. Fix these issues before bamboo installation to stay on the safe side. Otherwise, the leakage of water can damage the bamboo flooring. Step 3. Lay the bamboo planks. Now that you are prepared, you have to lay the planks. This process is similar to installing bamboo planks in any other area of the room. Just leave an expansion gap of one quarter inch at the seams. Use expansion spacers to leave these gaps. Then measure the area of the flooring and cut the bamboo planks into shapes. The first row has to be perfect. Use a chalk line to mark the first row. Apply flexible adhesive on the subfloor but don't flood the area. Then install the planks carefully on the area. As you finish installing the first row of bamboo planks, move to the next row and move towards the door. Make sure to leave the gaps at the sides. The alignment should be correct to avoid any mess on the flooring. This way, bamboo planks can be installed on the subfloor. After you install the planks, keep them for two days for the adhesive to settle. After the bamboo planks settle, remove the expansion spacers and mold the seams. Keep the room ventilated to let the planks settle.